Welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on something we realized we needed sooner than later. I dragged Pop off to the flea market farmer's market last weekend and we have one of those collapsible wagons and that you can kind of fold up into a bag. Well after five years of use and being left out in the weather a little bit it has pretty much fallen apart. So we went to go load it up and we had a few tears, so we need to make a new one. We never used the front pockets. We didn't even use the handle, so I'm going to make one that adapts to what we need it to be. We have this tan fabric. It's kind of like a faux suede sort of stuff, and I put two of them together and just did a cross hatch on the long arm. You don't have to do that. I'm just using what I have on hand. This is made out of like a, I don't know, it's like a plasticky canvas sort of thing, but it was ripping really bad just as even I was trying to separate uh, the parts to use it as a template. And then you need to do a couple of triangles here. Uh, it has one on either side. Uh, I'm just going to use it so it's on the, the one side I need it on because it, it, I'm just going to take it out when we don't need it and uh, it'll just come into the house. So and what we're doing, is that what we're doing? We're tracing. We're tracing, making a template. All right. Okay. So I made sure that the piece of fabric that I'm using is far bigger than what I need. Now you could do it in the piece sections that they have here. If you, it's easier to quilt it on your domestic machine or do something like that. If you wanted to, you don't have to. I'm just saying you can add your own special touch to these bags and uh, you could definitely scrappy. I think scrappy one hanging around going through the market would be fantastic, but we're going to make one for these. So, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to use it very, very soon. Okay. So I have it laid out here. And I want to include the seam allowance too, right? Because I know it fits good. I'll stretch it out with my fingers. And then I can use my rulers to help give me a straight line. And I'm going to go past because the, the binding or this webbing uh, goes all the way up to the top. So uh, I, ours is just two together and it doesn't fray. So I'm really not too, too worried about it. I may just go and pick up some webbing and do those uh, edges later, but for right now, this will do the trick. Okay. Just using a pencil, just a regular old happy pencil. Okay. And then moving the, the webbing out of the way. Try and get this all the way straight up. And I got my pieces of Velcro all ready to rock. Okay. And you have to be conscious of what fabric you're choosing because of layers you're going to have to sew through. Okay. Here, let me move this, scoot this closer to me so it's easier to work. Okay. Just a little bit. Try and keep this still within its little frame. There, it's a little bit better. Hold on. There. Okay, there we go. That's good, good, good. Okay. Because I, I don't, maybe, uh, maybe I'll just grab like a, um, I was going to say I don't really want to use a durable cotton, so I'll grab some, some of this uh, nylon webbing sort of stuff from the store the next time I get there. But it just, just to show you, if you have something that's kind of maybe worn out, but it's still, you know, you still want to use it, just go ahead and try and make a template of it. And, you know, when you want to recushion a cushion, you take the measurements of the cushion, right? So, all right, let's try and stretch this out a little bit here. No, I'm not building a piano or anything. I'm just trying to build a... Um, bag holder for my wagon or like a holder for my wagon oh, this stuff does not move very well because of the the pleathery sort of suede feel to it it's like you really gotta move it okay so we're we're there 
And we're there. Okay, and we're coming down this side. You'll be able to see that, but I'm gonna trace the whole thing. And that is some of the extra bits that we have on the sides here. We'll get our triangles, the triangles that we need. But that's easy peasy. That's easy stuff to, to add. Okay. Get, where did I get to here? Okay, now let's move it. The whole thing, don't just try and pick up the red part. You gotta move the whole thing. Okay. And you can see it's seen a better day, that's for sure. And then there's a nice bigger piece of Velcro over here, but I'm gonna have to use as, as that as white, because I don't think I have black. Either that or I'll, uh, I'll just do it afterwards. Just wanna show you the, the gist of the idea of using your objects you wanna replace as a template. Okay, I could tuck that back under there and use the raw line of the red. Okay. Try and get as, as accurate as we can get. So it's not rocket science and we're not trying to build a piano. Need a little bit on the bottom here and then we'll cut it out okay here's the other handle part so we're just going to tuck that down because we don't need that like i said we've we've never used them we've just literally attached the bag to the wagon and left it there it's got a little handle to it so we've just pulled it by the handle that's why we take it to the market there we go that lined up nice look at us i think we knew what we were doing Okay, and then we're gonna make lines here for where the Velcro is. So be like here and here, and then here and here. And do the same on the other side so we know we get a proper marking so we're not having to try and figure that out after the fact. Okay, so that's there. Let's move it to the other side and get these other two. Actually, it's four because it's split. Okay. So here and here and here and here. You can tell it's definitely ripped there. It was, it was falling apart on Pop as he was uh, trying to load it into the back of the car. I was like, oh, I'm like, okay, I guess. And he's like, weekend project? I'm like, I think so. <laughs> Makes sense to me. And then we'll just extend it out to where it needs to be on either side. See, that's already getting dirty. All right. Hey, let's cut that out. use my rotary cutter but I literally just put a brand new blade in it and I really don't want to have to replace it <laughs> just by doing this one project because it would dull my blade <laughs> that's uh, two layers like I said we'll get our triangle parts out of here just come up here on this one so we have the piece might be able to get both of them out of this one I don't even have to use the cross hatched fabric I could just use one layer 
because it's just how it hooks over the um, the support pegs for when it um, expands and collapses. So. Okay, so that's one side. Oh, let's try not to use our vel lose our Velcro. That hit Sophie's bed because there's a collection of hair there. <laughs> I must have hit Sophie's bed. <laughs> I was like, there's a lot of fur on it. <laughs> that quilt needs to come off and get washed. I'm going to make her a nice scrappy one too. I'm going to make her a nice scrappy one because I got a bunch of little doggy themed fabrics and stuff like that. So I'm going to make her a nice big scrappy one. And I could just flip it and then one just got something on one side and something on the other and then, and, um, so I can get at least a few, a couple weeks out of it, you know, one week on one side, one week on the other before it's got to get tossed in the wash. Yeah, it's a little bit tough fabric to get through, but we got it. Okay. we go. There's our two ends and our sides. So what we want to do with our ends is attach it right to where the point is all the way up. Now we could use a decorative thread or whatever. I think I got blue and gray in the machine here. So we'll just, we're just going to, uh, I'm not sure if pins will go through this. If not, this is a great example to use your clips. Oh yeah, it does just fine. Okay. And that's four layers. Okay, so let's put a few little pins on our side spots here. Oops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A twirl and a whirl on Miss Lois's lovely little tree gem there. It just went all crazy in the jungle. <laughs> okay. Oops. Got my glasses too. I guess they're coming too. <laughs> and then I'm just going to sew it. And then when I get some webbing, when I go to the store, I'll get some webbing. But for right now, it'll be just fine. And then that'll be my, my template will work for my, my, uh, my wagon cover or wagon holder, wagon, wagon cover, I guess. It's a wagon cover. I used to go use it if I was going over to, uh, you know, um, barbecue or something. And I'd load it up and then just walk it on down wherever I needed to be or walk it on up. If it was close enough. There we go. Okay. And then we're just going to sew those on those sides. And then this will come over here and those will be our Velcro spots where we're going to add. Oh, we should probably didn't done that first, first, shouldn't we? But I don't have that big long strip right now. Hmm. Let's sew up two. And then we'll sew this one completely because I do have that. Okay. Uh oh, at least I did. I had three. Oh, good gravy. Oh, here it is. I got it. No worries. Found it. We're good. <laughs> And then the, the triangles will uh, we'll measure out and, uh, and sew them on. They just go on the side here, so it's easy to work with, so no worries. Okay, so underneath the machine. All right, so we'll come underneath. Do a little back stitch. 
The fabrics are pretty secure together, so just give it a back. So this is where I could do a zigzag too if I wanted to seal it up together and not even have to worry about it. It's not fray -y fabric, so I really am not too worried about it, but maybe to give it that finishing look, we should probably get the webbing. So let's go about here. Back stitch. Okay. Yeah, and that still gives us plenty of room to add our top strip of Velcro and our second strip of Velcro without interrupting. And they can just come back and top up the seam. All right. Oh, this bag is, feels so much better already. Like, it just feels more secure than even the one, the one we got it when we, when we did get it. And I didn't know it was because it's supposed to be uh, weatherproof, but it clearly was not weatherproof to the point where it should know me. <laughs> okay, now this is so on Velcro, not iron on. You do not want to use any of that sticky stuff to, uh, or sticky back Velcro. Do not adhere that to anything and then sew over it. Mm -mm, no, please don't do it. Don't tell you no, no back up, beep, 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 alert ringing. So don't do that. Okay. Now what we want here is because this is going to be on the outside and this is going to be on the inside. I'm just going to flip the Velcro to the sticky on one and the receiver on the other. And when it goes over the handle, it connects and seals in that handle. Okay. And I'll show you, let me get these two done and then I'll bring over the wagon and you can see where I'm coming from. I should have Velcro to go from one end to the other, but clearly I was a little short. I'm going to see how this will work. If not, I know where the store is. And you want it back, back stitch, because you're going to put a lot of pressure on those as you're uh, taking them off and on. So I'm trying to line this one up with the strip you have. Like I said, mine's a little short, but short, 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 short's good. Good things come in short packages. Or small, <laughs> depending on how you think about it. Okay. Did I get most of that? I think I did. Here, here. I'll get the other side done and then I'll load it up on the wagon. Let's see. Okay. Like I said, this does not move. It's, sti it's sticky material, so you kind of gotta, you do have to push this one through. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay. Well, actually, I may have an, oh, I just cut it up. I should have left the one as a strip. Oh well. All right, so fuzzy at the top. So let's put the fuzzy at the top, match the other handle. Though I don't really think it matters. You could you could wing it ding ding it, do your own thing. But you could definitely be there's um, nice little compartments, bags, and storage units you can make for the back of your cars for you know when you got passengers or little ones, you got the the grand munchkins or what have you. Uh, oops, I forgot that one. Huh, way to go. Noob. Oh, oh, oops. I don't know what happened there. I guess I did it, but I didn't do it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Although I sorted now. Okay, now here, again, trying to line it up with the first piece that you had laid down. Okay, that looks pretty uh, spiffy whiffy. Okay. Well, it did until I went and moved on. <laughs> Sweet it. Here. 
Whoa, book tread. Hold on. Where's my little snitch where they are? Okay, I gotcha. Thank you for the broken thread. I appreciate you telling me. Oh, me, he's just so smart. There we go. Back up. Reassess. All right. Trim these two. So up this side. Oh, we have it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need like 12 arms sometimes just to get all the stuff I want done. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one. All right, there. And here. And wagon time. I've always wanted one of these, and I'm so glad Pop got me one. He actually got it from an auction. Not, not bad of a deal. I mean, it wasn't overly, you know, an awesome, awesome deal, but it definitely was like 30 bucks cheaper than what we were going to buy in the store. So, all right, check that out. And then I'll give you the basket. Oh, hold on. Do, do, do. Move out of the way. Coming through. Move this and then here <clears throat> see it has its handle okay and then what we were making that this part for was to go over this okay. and then these go here this goes here basket sits there and then this piece gets over onto this side. And then the little triangles get hooked up right into here. So isn't that awesome? And then now we get to off to the flea market, farmer's market. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna finish this off as soon as I get a, uh, that uh, white Velcro. And like I said, we'll get some netting or the nylon webbing and finish off the edge, I think. So it's not going to fray. So I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you, everybody, for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate it here at the Mom and Pop Clip Shop. Uh, big hugs to you. We'll see you uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. Saturday for our 12 hours. We're working on a very fun project that Allison, one of our fans, gifted Pop and I for our 25th wedding anniversary. So looking forward to seeing you then. Okay, big hugs, everybody. See you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video.